Can you control multiple red light therapy devices from one single control panel if those devices are from different companies? I'm going to find out. So yeah, behind me, I've got four different red light therapy panels. A Mito Red, an Infrared, e, a Juve, and a Platinum LED panel. Now I get asked a lot, hey look, I went out and purchased a Mito Red panel. Six months later, I decided I wanted a panel with Pulsine, so I purchased an Infrared. E. Can I link them together? Can I control them all from the one control panel? Well, am I going to have to run multiple power cords to each panel and independently switch on each panel to how I want it? It's a good question and something I've never really been able to answer until today. Now, when it comes to this issue, there's two things you need to look at. But before I get into that, be sure to hang around to the end of the video as I will be talking about one panel that is super simple to link up and connect without having to mess around with the wires. So as I mentioned, there's two key things you need to look at here. There's getting power to the panel and then secondly, there's controls. Having the information such as the power intensities, whether it's pulsing or not, uh, the, the time duration you want the panel to run, having all of that information being passed off to the other panel. So let's look at the power first. When you open up your red light therapy box, typically you see two power cords. One of them goes into the wall and of course into the back of the panel. The other one is what I call an, an extension lead. It's got a male plug and a female plug. Now, obviously you can't plug this into the wall, so why would you need this? And this cable is what's gonna stop you having to run multiple leads down to your power point. If you've seen my Biomax quad video, I use three of these in the back end, and that means I only have one power cable coming out of the main control panel into the wall. Now, here's where it's interesting. Most of these panels have both an input and an output plug in them. That means I can run this extension cord from my Mito Red panel over to Infrared. Let's do that now. Okay, so now we have the Mito Red panel plugged into the wall and then a jumper cable going over to the Infrared panel. That means we can turn on the Mito Red and we can come over here and turn on the Infrared just with one power cord, which is pretty neat. What's also really neat is like I said earlier, most of these panels have the same plug. So I can swap out them for ready and replace it with a Biomax. Or even a Juve Solo. Now, if you have enough of those extension cables, you can even hook more panels up. Let's go Mito Red to Platinum to Infrared. Okay, so the power from the wall is going to the Mito Red. Then we've got the adapter cable going over to the Biomax. Then another cable going over to the Infrared. Let's see if they all work. Pretty neat, huh? So the reason why this works is pretty simple. All of these panels run off the same volts and current, but secondly, the power cables that these panels all use have the same plug type. So that means a cable that comes with a Mito Red panel could easily be used for a Biomax or vice versa. So that hopefully answers the first part of your question. Let's say you have a Mito Red and a Biomax. You can use that extra power cable so you don't have to run independent power cables to the wall from each panel. That's a nice little trick, but it still doesn't solve the main issue can they communicate with each other? Hey, so as you can probably tell, a lot of time, money, and work goes into putting out videos like this. I am fortunate enough that I can dedicate a lot of time to experimenting with things like this and helping to answer any questions that you guys may have. But it does take a lot of work and I do need the support. So if you're enjoying this, please hit the like button below and even better, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so what about communication between panels? Though it's nice not having to muck around with lots of power cables, ideally, if you've got multiple panels, especially more than two, like three or four, you don't really want to have to turn each one on in the individually. Especially if each panel has a different time setting and turns off mid-session. So in the ideal world with multiple panels, you control everything, including the timer, from the one central control panel. Now there's gonna be issues here because every panel has different settings. So if I use the Infrared Flex, for instance, that has pulsing, I may enable pulsing on that panel. That doesn't mean the Platinum LED and the Mito Red are gonna start pulsing. The main thing really we're looking for is power intensity, whether you can get it at 100% and the time. So let's see how this works. Traditionally, panels came with 3.5 millimeter cables like I have here. On the back of each panel, there was a socket or a plug 
but you could plug this in and you could plug the other end into another panel. You'd then say which panel was the master and which panel was the slave. The master would then control the slave. Easy. However, now we're starting to see different types of data cables being used. I have one here. It looks like a, a regular phone cable. Other panels have USB plugs or even Ethernet cables. There's all sorts of things going on. So straight away that's causing problems if you're trying to link panels together from different companies with different plugs. So when I turn these panels around, we see that the Mito Pro 1500 and the Biomax 600 here both have three and a half millimeter plugs. The Infrared Flex doesn't have any plugs and the Juve has an Ethernet cable. So pretty much I can only link these two together. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to put one end into output, other end into input. All right, let's see what happens. So I can confirm the Mito is running, but the Biomax isn't. Now I know that's disappointing, but it doesn't really surprise me. What we're going to do is switch it around. We'll set the Mito Red as the slave and the Biomax as the master. Okay, and now what we see is the Biomax is running, but the Mito Red isn't. So that's disappointing, but like I said, kind of expected. It means that these panels can't talk to each other. Now, one thing I need to mention is the Platinum LED Biomax panels actually have a different channel setting. So there's nine different channels in there. You got to go through and select them when you're syncing multiple panels up. That could be part of the reason why they're not talking to each other. But even if I set this as primary and this is secondary, it still wasn't working. As for the other panels, well, the Infrared doesn't have any plugs, so I can't even test it with that. And the Juve has the Ethernet plug, so again, I can't even use that. And what's interesting is here I have the Mito Red Light Adapt and that has a different plug again. This has a USB plug down the bottom and up here it's got your telephone jack cables. That means we have one, two, three different types of communication cables. It all gets a bit messy, right? And it also means that a Mito Adapt isn't going to link up with a Mito Pro which is going to be quite frustrating for a lot of people, especially if they've gone with the Pro and then come 2023, they decide to get Mito Red's new and improved Mito Adapt panel. It's not all going to work together. Annoying. Okay, so I hope that answered your questions. In a nutshell, if you've got a panel from one company and you want to hook them together and be able to control them from the one control panel, really, you need to stick with that company. Not only with that company, but with the same product line. There are, of course, exceptions to the rule, and we may find that, yeah, some panels from different companies do link up perfectly fine. But as I said at the start of the video, there is one product line that I'm quite impressed with when it comes to multi-panel operation, and that's the Platinum LED Biomax range. Now, beside me, I've got a couple of Biomax 900s, and a Biomax 300 hanging on the wall rather awkwardly. These new Gen 3 panels still have the 3.5 millimeter plug in the back. That means you can link them up with older generation panels and hook them all together as we talked about earlier. But really you don't need that because all of these Biomax panels link up wirelessly. In fact, the new third generation panels have a Bluetooth receiver in them. And with the free included remote, I can simply hit start and you'll see that all three panels start running. I hit stop and they all stop running as well. I can even do it through my phone. Which is pretty cool. You don't have to play around with cables or different settings on each screen. Now, if you'd like to see my full review of the new Biomax panels, be sure to click here. In that video, I do a deep dive review and talk about all of these neat options. By the way, if you want to buy any of these panels I've talked about today, I'll put links to them all below and be sure to use discount code Alex. It will save you a little bit of money and help me to continue putting out videos like this.